Hello, and welcome back to the deadliest estate in Darkest Dungeon. I am Ixalan, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of housekeeping here. We've got a few upgrades. Most of our stuff is still locked. So I remember last time we upgraded our roster size, which is, I think, the only thing we can really upgrade now, unless we're going to do some stuff with these guys. Uh, but we don't have anything to really work with them. So we're going to take a look. I think what I'm going to do, mainly because Reynold is a kleptomaniac, and this little skull symbol which he obtained in the last mission means that it's a hard-to-remove trait, or quirk, I should say. Uh, it means I hate him right now. I hate him a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to put Russell in, in his place. We're going to make sure Russell has some attacks that he can use from the first position. Seems like he can. He's got a stun. And a knockback. He's got a regular attack. All in all, I think we're pretty good there. The other thing we mentioned... Oh, there were a couple things that I wanted to discuss um, from last episode. So, first of all, I knew exactly where to go in the, like, the first, quote, dungeon that wasn't the tutorial. And that's because that first dungeon is always laid out the same. Um, I've played that first dungeon a couple times on, on files, and I it's it's always the same. So they are randomly generated. Each dungeon is is different each time you go into it. So that, that means, I mean, at least to me, I think that's pretty interesting. The other thing uh, that I wanted to show, which we will jump back to, is we picked up a journal page, which I believe... believe is somewhere visible in here yeah collected journals blood soaked pages from a torn journal number three of six or i guess 19 of 22 maybe so you can always go back and see those um their little storyline items so that's that's one thing that i find pretty cool uh the only other main housekeeping thing is i turned the volume up a little because i thought it was low in the last episode so let me know if it's low high how it needs to be adjusted and i'll i'll go from there Okay, so all that beside, let's move past it. We're going to do a mission here. This mission will get us a trinket for a grave robber. Not super interested in that. Uh, a leper. Not super interested. Plus 10 virtue chance, minus 2 speed. I'm not going to lie. Uh, coming from D&D, I'm a speed is king kind of guy. I think having speed is very important. Uh, these all are going to give us, except for this one, which gives us crests. They're all going to give us portraits. About the same amount of money. This one's a medium mission. I don't know that we're quite ready for a medium mission yet. Because we're taking a level zero. So I actually think I am going to do this. This very terrible. Uh, well, the, I guess the grave robber is actually not terrible. Plus two speed is actually pretty good when we do get a grave robber. So that's what we're going to go with. Looking at our stats. We're going to open our trinket inventory. We're definitely going to give the plague doctor a disease resist. The last thing we need is him getting diseased. This guy is going to get punched a lot. I'm going to reduce his stress damage. And then um, his speed is already 3 which is pretty low. He's going last most times. I'm also going to give him the move resist because I don't want him to get pushed back um, or pushed out of position to mess up the rest of the people. So he's going to have all the trinkets. Good job, Russell. And then the last thing is let's, let's name these people. So Dismas I'm going to name him uh, Slywin after one of my D&D buddies who plays ranged characters a lot. Uh, our Plague Doctor will be named Pierce for the same reason. I'm recording, so these, these first characters, and I, I plan except for maybe Crusaders to get two of everything. So I mentioned last episode, if you want to be one of these characters, let me know. We will have uh, no issues making that happen. What will we name our man at arms? He's a he's a bit of a tank. I will name him Tank, and we will see if his if he lives up to his name. And then Maynet will be maybe yeah maybe yeah I think that's how you spell it. That's a rest of development reference for you. I love that show. All right, so we equipped everyone with trinkets. Let's get things on the road. Uh, so certain characters that you bring might come with items already predisposed. So whenever you bring a Plague Doctor, you get an Anti-Venom. Uh, when you bring a Grave Robber, you get a Shovel. 
just things like that. So this is a short mission. I'm just going to bring a single stack of food, two shovels. We're going into the ruins. They usually don't do a lot of status effect. So I think one each of a anti-venom and a bandage is good enough. Uh, actually, that's not true. I'm going to bring two bandages because they do have a little bit of bleed. One holy water, two medicinal herbs, a key, and four torches. Five torches? Yeah, we'll go with five. I already clicked five. Let's do it. All right, let's go. We're on, we're on the road. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Each region has its own challenges. Each region has its own challenges. All right. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. Oh, I love that man's voice. Okay, so we're going to kind of follow the same tactic we did in the last episode. Because uh, small dungeons, small expeditions, I guess, um, let us skip one room. So we're going to skip this room, unless it's like the most amazing room. So we're just kind of going to loop around this way. Uh, wait, I didn't even see, I didn't even check this guy's quirks. I should have. Oh, sweet. Highlight, monster surprise. Let's do this thing. All right, we're gonna hit the back row with the plague grenade. This is gonna poison both of them. That's a guaranteed five damage on this guy. So half his health. So then we can do, this does, how much? Three to five damage on him, which isn't a guaranteed kill. So I'm gonna go for the more guaranteed kill. Now he's definitely dead. He won't get a turn. Um... I guess I could attempt to kill one of these. Probably, yeah, this guy. Didn't kill him. I think it was worth the shot, though. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll try to hit this guy. Decent damage. And that guy's going to die. This guy's going to move forward. He's going to shoot us. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's the start to a good dungeon, man. Just right off the bat, get some dodging going on. Oh, okay. This is not usually happen in Darkest Dungeon. I gotta pride go with before a fall in this game, like so much. I actually think I will grape shot. Ha 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 ha! Two misses and a dodge. That sucks. All right, let's hit this guy with more poison because if I can get him killed, yes. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so now we 100% killed this guy. Oh shit. <laughs> Karma! Oh, yes! Success! Okay. So now we just have one attack. Four actions versus one attack? I'm on board with this. What are you sitting at? Ten? Can I shoot you? I can. Alright, there's five. Let's hit him with a poison. If that blights him, he's dead on his turn, which means I can spend this turn healing. Probably this guy. I feel like he's gonna... He's weaker. And then, uh... How long does that last? Like three rounds? Should I could have guarded somebody, but now nah, we'll just we'll give everybody a buff. Three rounds, eh, ten accuracy and one crit. That's not bad. All right, let's look at you, stress eater. Okay, so if your stress gets above fifty, you don't eat food in the dungeon. That's beautiful. Hmm, what have we here? Are you opening that? Oh, you suck. You develop claustrophobia because you climbed into an Iron Maiden. What is wrong with you? Fascinated with corpses. Oh, necromania. Okay, so we have to get rid of that. Curious. Oh, no, maybe curious. One of these two traits sucks, and I hate him. <laughs> All right, well, that sucks because we could have gotten something good. Ooh, a map. Maps are always good. They tell us what's coming up for, you know, usually two to three rooms. Oh, it didn't quite make it to this room. That's so bad. But that's good. Now we know we, we only have two battles between here and there. So I'm not going to worry about light until we get basically right before that. And then I'll use a torch to bring us back up above 75. Kind of give us that advantage. And the, the important thing with the torch management, which I don't think I really got into in the last game, that surprise factor is so good. Do I want to? I could try stunning him. That's not really going to matter. He's going to go last. I should hit him with poison. That makes the most sense. So managing the light is important because the higher your light is, the more likely monsters are to be um, to be surprised. The stronger you are, the better scouting chance you have. But the lower the loot is that you get. Let's go ahead and try to stun him. No such luck. 
Okay. That's also pretty bad. Run for the old gods. Oh. This highwayman is Slywin, you are doing work. Alright, let us figure out what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to poison this guy. Oh, that two damage. That's so good. He resisted blight. What is with these guys in the freaking resist today? Shoot that man the Oh my god. So you kind of have this, this balancing factor. Do you lower the light so you get better loot, more money, better things? Or do you raise the light so that you die less? <laughs> it's kind of what it comes down to sometimes. I don't know that there is a good answer. Um, yeah, I know. I'm bleeding. The question is, do I want to use a bandage on it? And honestly, he's bleeding once. I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather just attempt to kill this guy. Oh, yeah. This guy's gonna rend this man. He has much lower health. I would consider bandaging him. I won't, but I would consider it. That's the important thing. Let's go ahead and try to get this guy. Nine damage! That is so good! I didn't realize that was so good. Go ahead and carve this man up. Alright, good. So he... Is he dead on his turn? No, he's not. That means I should probably attack. <laughs> That's basically my thought process. If he's not dead, I should attack. If he's gonna die, we'll take the turn to heal. Go ahead and get some, some sweet money. Uh, I'll use a bandage on you just because I really don't want you to get hurt more than you already are. I'm okay with tank bleeding out a little. He'll he'll recover. I believe in him. I believe in his strength. Now we So you always have the option, like it says here, of shift clicking or shift control clicking to reduce your torch level if you want to, you know, try to get more treasure. Um, which is tempting sometimes. But not when I know there's upcoming battles. When I know for a fact there's battles, I want to try my best to surprise them. Let's go ahead and try to shoot our archer as much as possible. Okay, we're going to take a quarrel to the face. This is actually not bad, like, health-wise. We're not doing as great as I would like. And she is not hitting shots very well, but that's okay. So he's not dead on his next turn, but if... Oh, shiz. That's not... Please, please stop. Please leave him alone. Okay, we're gonna guard him so he doesn't take any more damage. So the way the guard works is for two rounds, any attack that would target him... Um, tank will step in the way unless it hits both of them. Is he dead on his next turn? Okay, so I can stop. So I can stun one of these, I think. Oh no, I don't have the stun for short range. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, well let's noxious fume one of these guys. Of course they resist. Why wouldn't they resist? Yay. Uh, I didn't kill him. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That was so good. Bump in the night blocks. And let's start trying to heal this guy. Five on a max. That's a good heal. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit sneaky. And if this works on stun... Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so he's going to lose his next turn. Which means we can take an opportunity and just hit him with a poison gas. Just to give us another chance to, to heal. Yeah. That's exactly why we did that. That worked perfectly. Alright, that was maybe a little sneaky. But you gotta you gotta manipulate the game a little because it it gets mean and unforgiving. I know I've said that, and so far we're we're doing pretty well. So it may not look like it, but no, don't do it again. Why do you hate me? You can't get claustrophobia. You already have it. Okay, I'm on board with that. That seems fine. That seems great. Our light's sixty. We're just gonna continue to move on down the path. Hunger. Everybody eat. That's fine. Stop here. Are you still at the highest? And you have probably the most stress. 27, 30. Yeah, you actually do. So this is perfect for you. Yeah, good job, Slywin. Stay alive. Okay. Now I believe we can use holy water on this to good effect. So I'm going to do that. Oh, heal stress. That was so worth it. That means, I mean, depending on how things go, he's going to be ready for quite a while. 
Okay, so we don't have... We don't have sight now, so I'm going to spend two torches to get us back up above our scouting range. Just in case we step out here into a fight. See? I know this game, man. This game is freaking tricky. They're onto some messed up crap. Oh, you little... Okay. Oh, he's stunned? That sucks. Lost his turn, and he's marked. So we're doing 5 to 9 versus 40. I guess we go for 5 to 9 because it's more damage. Murdered that spider. Suck it, spider. Go ahead. Alright, never mind. I'm gonna stop complaining about things that are clearly not problems yet. Sacks contents. Oh, see what I'm talking about? We had high light, very low amounts of money. Can we? Have we scouted yet? We're probably not going to be able to scout. Oh, this is perfect. That is good. Wait, what do we got going up here? Okay, so there's treasure in this room. So this, it was good to get, skip this, even though this these two curios could have been good. Like, they could have been bags of loot or something. Uh, I mean, you take your chances, is what it comes down to. I'm actually gonna, even though this guy, actually you have 90% and you still need stress relief, so you can go ahead and disarm that. I was about to let the plague doctor do it, but Pierce is, I don't want Pierce to die. <laughs> it's basically how I feel right now. Oh, I'm so glad I brought a full stack. This is not looking the greatest so far. Alright, so we're at 20, and we have two torches, which puts us to 70. So we're actually kind of lower than I thought we were going to be. I don't, this layout was a little more linear and kind of longer in a straight line than I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. We're going to aim for the blanket fire. So here's our, here's our threat assessment. Brigand Bloodletter, yeah, he's all right. His punishment's going to kind of suck. Point blank shot is bad. Slice and dice is bad. He is less HP by like a third. Same with this guy. And blanket fire hits everyone. So he's kind of my, our big priority right now. And if this hits, oh, I was like, if that hits, he's dead. Unfortunately, it did not. So we'll, uh, we'll finish him off with our Vestal, AKA our Cleric. I will probably call him a Cleric or Healer. Um, I know it's a Vestal, I just, some things never change. Ooh, Rana Whips is pretty bad. That's a lot of stress that was unnecessary and some bleed I did not like. Um, let's try to knock this guy unconscious. And by knock, I mean, oh, I was trying to stun him. Actually, he's gonna die to the to the blight, so that's fine. We can stack some damage on this guy. But apparently never make him bleed. No one ever bleeds. So one thing that I haven't discussed is, is these bodies, which obviously you can attack. If you attack them, they'll eventually be destroyed. You can see this corpse has seven HP. Um, I guess I'm gonna hit him with a Noxious Fume and hope. No, he resisted that too. This random whips thing is pretty bad. Oh, everybody's bleeding. Okay. Well, you gotta heal our Plague Doctor. Because <laughs> he's gonna bleed more than I want him to. What is your stun resist? 50. But your Blight and Bleed is only 20? I'm just getting bad luck then. Alright. Let's try to beat face. So what I was going to say is if an enemy dies to... Yeah, let's not have you bleed anymore. If an enemy dies to a blight or bleed effect, they don't leave a corpse. The corpse vanishes, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this one will do more damage. And if you bleed, sweet. Go ahead and heal you some. Oh, yeah. Are we going to be able to finish this man off? No way. No, we're not going to be able to. I was like, that would be awesome. But even with the double bleed, that's... Yeah, he goes to one. He still gets one more attack. Punishment on that guy? Oh, look at that stress. 40 stress. He went. For, actually, he probably had some before he went into this battle. Still, I dislike that. That's fine. That's fine. Um, We'll go ahead and do that. Mostly because I wanted to waste an attack. Because he's going to die to his bleed. And I want to try to get another heal off while we're in battle, because you can't heal outside of battle. That was beautiful. Stress relief, crit heal. Ooh. All right, now we'll just finish him off, because I don't care that much. 
there is a risk element if you if you make a battle drag on for too long, you run the risk of reinforcements appearing. I have almost never had that happen, um, but it can happen, so it's something to be aware of. Let's go ahead and... Good thing we brought shovels. We may have brought more shovels than were needed, but that's fine. Um, so we're about to fight a battle and then be done with this dungeon. I'm just going to go ahead and feed the food to Slywin here and tank. Take us in. Okay, we've got better loot, but uh, the enemy has higher crits. They didn't surprise us, though, so that's good, but they're going to go first. That was a beautiful dodge. That was perfectly fine. This is bad. Three damage and 18 stress. That is why we shoot this man first every effing time. Are you serious? 18 stress? Okay, he's dead now, but holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's try to get this guy, because he also does a decent amount of stress, but like not nearly as much. Uh, all right, so here's our question. Can we one-shot him? We have a chance, or we could stun him. I'm going to go for the stun, because it's more likely to just make him permanently not an issue. So let's see what happens. So now I shoot this guy. Because I want him to die to the blade as well. And then our stress problems are over. Life is good now. That was beautiful. There's some good management here. That crit sucked. A lot. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like it. I don't want it to ever happen again. Let's finish this guy off. And uh, now we can just focus on this guy. So I'm going to try to stun him just the same. Because if we have actions and they don't, that's good. Obviously... They're not going to have any of my shit today. Oh, these crits on heals. Dude, maybe. You are, like, awesome. I was going to say something really inappropriate, but then I remembered that you're named after, like, a teenager in a TV show, and I felt like that was just not right. <laughs> oh, look at that. A sapphire. Ooh. Thousand gold. That's so good. All right. So now we're gonna sh I'm going to show you the example. So we're going to... Snuff out our torch here. Can be found in the most and then we're going to investigate this heirloom chest using a key. And get, like, basically jack crap. So that didn't seem as good as it was, but it kind of scares me to think what would have been in there if we hadn't used the key. And hadn't squelched the torch. Ooh. What's that little? About 5,000? Ooh. 5,500. That's a pretty good start early on. I like that. Not a whole lot of collected heirlooms, but hopefully we'll be able to get some more as we go forward. Everybody's still level 1. or Well, Tank is now level 1. Sly win. Bonus, in exp in, uh, bonus, bonus chance to scout in the wield. Sorry, I can read English. I hate you, Pierce. <laughs> uh, claustrophobia is fine. Hard skinned is really good. Oh man, we're getting some really good positive quirks. This is awesome. The blacksmith is unlocked and the guild is unlocked. So we'll uh, we'll go into these. The blacksmith is where you can um, equip your hero with better weapons or armor. Um, you can upgrade it just the same. And the guild is where you can unlock their skills and upgrade them, which we will also probably do next episode. For this episode, let's just see who we have new here i love bounty hunters so i will join and we just got a grave robber trinket so why not grab the grave robber right like that seems that seems almost like that was staged uh yeah i think we're i think we're doing pretty good so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode again i'm gonna do about one dungeon per episode and then we'll do so we'll do the town stuff and then the dungeon town stuff dungeon uh if you guys want to see dungeon then town stuff or however you want to see it let me know in the comments below and I'm recording a couple in advance of the series going up on YouTube. So it might take me a couple episodes before I implement your suggestions, but I will be happy to do so. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later!